How's it going? Welcome back, my beautiful sinners, to another amazing video here with your host, the Savior. That's right, guys. So, let's jump in to this video. And if you do enjoy this video, guys, make sure to show your support by smashing the like button. Wow, go down and smash it, smash it. Go down and hit it. Hit it, boys! Because it's a dirty, dirty little, dirty little like button. You want to hit it, right? You want to, mm, you want to give it some love. Anyway, uh, and subscribe, of course. And guys, please stream my music on Spotify and check out my merchandise that I have now made. It is amazing. It is original designs. You can get yourself an OG Sinner hoodie. That would be so cool. You would be like the best man to ever exist or the best woman. I don't know, but you would look so cool. In my merchandise trust me it would be truly absolutely amazing sorry I was just checking the demon behind me who always looks over my left shoulder anyway guys let's talk about the video why I believe capital punishment is good why I think capital punishment is right why I think capital punishment is the answer that this world needs okay guys and I thought I would show off some death note footage because why not it's pretty relative to what I'm talking about so guys this might be a little controversial opinion that the savior has but that's right guys I am telling you that you should also believe and trust in capital punishment now first let me just say this I don't believe in you know government issuing murder okay because I don't trust the government, first of all. I don't trust states. I don't trust any kind of congress or, you know, any kind of uh, corporations or elites or anything like that. Anyone in power, um, you know, who just got elected because they had money, because they have, uh, well, yeah, pretty much money. If they have, you know, public opinion and votes behind them, like so-called democracy that we are supposed to live in, then maybe it's okay. You know, I would, in my ideal world, would be smaller communities, not divided by countries, just by smaller communities with, uh, you know, a smaller council uh, that function as a, you know, small community and, uh, you know, like a mini society. Because I feel that in smaller parts, in smaller communities, that tribalism uh, would still be rampant, of course, but it would be far more... Uh, beneficial to the individual uh, little mini societies because in a big society it's very easy to get like muddled and corrupted and stuff like that so that's just my opinion anyway guys um sadly that's all we can have is capital punishment which is of course you know issued by the you know the people in charge the government the you know the councils whatever okay guys so sadly that is what we have to have but it is still the best option to deal with criminals and let me tell you why okay so first of all we all know that criminals who you know and by the way I'm not talking about people who do petty crimes okay I don't care if someone is steals someone committed a little bit of robbery someone did some arson someone did whatever okay that obviously isn't good but I'm talking about the murderers in the world I'm talking about serial murderers serial you know people uh, I can't say the word, but people who, you know, do a little bit of the in-out, in-out on poor, innocent women without their consent, you know, people like that, people who are targeting innocent people, these people, in my opinion, deserve to be eradicated, deserve nothing less than to die. You could say, hey, why not give them a second chance, savior? Well, I'll tell you why. We have already evidence, actual scientific data that shows that going to prison and you know unless if it's a complete reform of how prison works and criminal you know reform you know reformity kind of works then this is never going to change because there have been studies and there have been actual data showing that if you commit a serious crime yes okay you obviously have certain personality traits and, you know, that biological personality traits, they do not change over time. And actually going to prison is more damaging because you actually link up and meet up with other criminals and form a criminal organization. You, you know, you just network. It's a breeding ground for basically more criminality, okay? And the problem is that the scientific data shows that I think it's around 70% or 80%, but around that number of criminals who are then released actually... Uh, commit crime once again okay they don't change their behavior that's right they commit crime after time after time after time that's why you see so many prisoners so many 
you know, uh, disgusting filth go back into the prison system time and time again. They never learn their lesson, and that's quite clear in the data. So, this is why I believe for the harsh criminals out there, the only justice, the only system that we can possibly have is capital punishment, or in my ideal world, I would go back to um, frontier justice, you know, where the people, if they find someone bad and they know that he's doing, you know, disgusting evil deeds, then the people, the community, would take him out. Now, obviously, we can't trust that in a big society and that would cause chaos, of course. That's why, you know, in an ideal world, smaller little, you know, breakaway civilizations, they could handle their you know, the, their bad side of their population much more easily and in a confined space. Um, and that's why I believe that capital punishment is obviously a good thing because, first of all, we know that the data doesn't change. We know that the personalities of the hard criminals don't change. We know that prison, re, you know, reforming prisoners doesn't really work, you know, especially with serious criminals, okay? Because they just keep coming back, they meet more... Uh, you know other criminals in the prisons they can form connections number four okay guys it's quite clear to me that you know these these criminals okay they you know are usually very sadistic very sick minded and they don't want to change and they enjoy what they're doing okay so why not get rid of them I don't understand what the problem is because already we know that prisons are getting full every every day more and more dirty disgusting criminals get put into prisons okay so we know that it's already overpopulated and then the final point guys is of course that the world is overpopulated with humans okay and what do you think is gonna happen when the world has too many humans we're gonna run out of resources there's gonna be a new world war over resources over surviving you know elements okay guys so a great way funny enough to get rid of the population the population that don't actually do anything they just waste our money our tax money and who are complete evil scum who don't deserve a second chance and they don't even believe that they can change with a second chance is of course capital punishment now I really don't understand why that is controversial and for so many people that seems to be a bad thing um, now let me just say, in the West, this is still very controversial. In Asia, it's quite normal, okay? There's a lot of countries that support capital punishment, and I'm fully behind it. Obviously, it's not ideal uh, way of going about it, especially with, you know, uh, governments and, you know, uh, politicians and stuff like that who can decide this kind of stuff. Uh, but that is the world that we live in. Now, like I said, frontier justice would be much better, in my opinion, but we cannot have frontier justice without the world collapsing and without normal people getting in trouble from the government and so forth. So guys, that's why I believe capital punishment is actually a good thing and why we should try and uh, bring it back instead of trying to, you know, get rid of it. Because we see in America, for example, more and more states are getting rid of capital punishment in favour of, you know, just prison sentences. And that is the really messed up thing. And, you know, I hate injustice okay I wanted to change the world so much when I was younger that's why I wanted to work as a criminal forensic uh, you know person okay you know I wanted to go and chase down criminals but I realized at the end of the day I can't really change the world that much uh, you know just by looking at some evidence okay it's much better to try and spread my voice around now the problem is guys <laughs> these criminals you know they don't learn okay they don't learn and that is very very clear to me and the thing is <laughs> you know they're never going to change that's really the problem so the only way to get rid of them in my idea is capital punishment okay so guys that is just my opinion of capital punishment and why we should bring it back instead of trying to get rid of it because I feel it does more good than bad and the really sick thing is and this is what really infuriates me is the fact that these harsh criminals, the murderers out there, the people who force themselves onto women or whatever, okay? You know, these disgusting people who commit the same acts over time, over time again, okay? These people only get 25 or 30 years in prison. That is a life sentence, okay? That isn't a life sentence. If you're gonna do a life sentence, don't ever let them back out. Let them rot in prison. I would be all for that, but that isn't the system they have, okay? They have 
just these tiny minimal sentences and then they're back out in society. Now, if that isn't injustice, if that isn't disgusting, I don't know what is and that is why the whole system is broken. So that's just my little opinion. Let me know yours down below and let's try and correct this and share this opinion around. And yeah, thank you for watching my sinners. I'll see you in the next video. Have yourself a blessed day. Peace out.